All right, let's do this. Limit form. Oh, well, my name is Fox. I'm the Lego Dynamic Fox, and today I want to talk about the new, the Keyblade transformation slash drive forms in Kingdom Hearts Three. So what? I'm pretty sure a lot. Some people probably noticed this, or maybe if you didn't, here's a good thing. Because some people, some people I know didn't notice this because I've got, I've seen this a lot. Where people, or like in comments like that, a lot of people say like, I hope drive forms come back in Kingdom Hearts Three, which I'm. Which, in a sense, they have. In a sense, they have. The, it's more of an evolved form. And the best way I can describe that is that Keyblade transformations are what replacing dry forms, though not really replacing, because kind of similar to the other. Kind of similar to like, let's say Kingdom Hearts One to Kingdom Hearts Two, where um, Sora. Sora does start out with a with a similar base fighting, I believe, in the similar base fighting. But eventually, in the like, Kingdom Hearts 2, he gains new base ability. Like, base, like, you'll start attacking, like, two orbs will come up right beside you and spin around and stuff like that. You gain more power than you do in Kingdom Hearts 1 did. Even though Sora, you know, reboots every game. Um, and in a similar sense, that's kind of what happened to dry forms in Kingdom Hearts 3. Where now, instead of it being where you have to go through the menu and click... The thing to then switch it to your drive form or equip different keyblades to the different slots. Instead, now you're depending on which keyblade you wield, you get your drive form. And not only that, you are now able to switch between drive forms. So, like, let's say, let's say you have the Toy Story keyblade and then you have the Tangled keyblade, and they're both on their second state, which is their basic, basic like their basic drive forms. You can now switch between them on the fly because you can have up to three keyblades that you can switch between. So, one end. Drive forms have been made to where you can switch between them faster as well as get them and use them a lot more, at least from everything I've seen so far. You're able to use them a lot more than um, you originally were able to in the original game. As well as, flip, because that's, those things are, I think those are going to be what basically depend on your combat. Since like the drive form of Pirates of the Caribbean is more of a fencing style of fighting. While wow, like something like uh, uh, fudge me, Hercules is more shield is more shield based, but also that doesn't mean exact that doesn't exactly mean that there that the certain dry forms that are in like Kingdom Hearts two Kingdom Hearts two are not in three, uh, and because certain Keyblades at least again so far as I've seen in the trailers and everything seem to correlate to them being part of a certain set. As in, like, there is the Valor set of Keyblades, which, from, again, the trailers, the Valor set, the Keyblades that are Valor are, um, what was it, Toy Story, uh, to the Hammer, Toy Story, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, because if you look at the trailer for Pirates of the Caribbean, when he goes into, when he has his, uh, Keyblade transformed, uh, you see that his blue bandana turns red, kind of very similar to... In Kingdom Hearts 2, it, when you're in um, Nightmare Before Christmas World, where you, when you switch to um, Valor form, the little creature, the little thing on his head turns red to indicate, because, you know, not really much else changes, but just to indicate that, yeah, he is in Valor form. Um, it, it, what was it? It was Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, what do you mean? Pirates of the Caribbean. Fudge, why am I blinking? Toy Story. And it's not Hercules. It's not Hercules. It's uh, Monsters Inc. I want to say. I want to say it's Monsters Inc. That is, yeah, Monsters Inc. Monsters Inc. is another Valor form. Those are three keyblades for Valor form, and then we have one Master form so far that we've seen, which is um, Hercules Keyblade. That one gives him. That one gives Sora the Master form, and then we have two Wisdom forms. One being one Wisdom form being uh, one Wisdom form being Tangles Keyblade, and the other Wisdom form being. Uh, Frozen's Keyblade, and that one I believe both of the times, yeah, he has the blue, he has the blue colored of his of his clothes changed to blue, as well as having the signature gliding motion. Though in Frozen's case, it's skating, but the, the similar gliding motion. So the key, the different Valor forms that you've seen that are in the original. Oh, and um, how the fuck did I forget that? Kingdom Key, Kingdom Key is limit form, but instead of it being Kingdom Hearts, like in Kingdom, like in um. Uh, in Kingdom Hearts 2, Limit Form was you switch to the color scheme of Kingdom Hearts 1, as well as have his same, I believe, fighting set, as well as then using um, 
a lot more triangle commands. If I remember correctly, in this one, I'm not sure about the triangle commands because triangle commands are kind of a big thing now for like majority of different things. But also, um, Sora's Sora's fighting style and everything is of uh, a maxed out Sora in Kingdom Hearts 2, where like you even see like the two orbs spinning around Sora and stuff like that. So that is the limit form. So a couple of things. One, it's cool that we still have Valor form, Wisdom form, Master form, and even limit form. And then on the flip note of that, I can't wait to see what else is gonna, what other is gonna happen for forms such as um, Final form as well as Anti form, which I'm kind of hoping. If anything, Riku, if hopefully Riku has the same abilities that Sora does, which I don't see any reason why they wouldn't give him that. But I'm hoping Riku's like um, new Keyblade, uh, the Braveheart, I hope that one is a dark Keyblade. And I hope he has an, I hope we see Riku's anti form, because that would be kind of cool. Or maybe Riku will have like a balance between light and darkness kind of thing. And again, I want to know what Keyblade Sora is going to... Like, is Sora... Let's say Sora gets, um... Oh, oh, wait. Wasn't... Oh, Star Seeker. Uh, the one Keyblade that Sora actually has. I don't know if you can see him right there next to Christmas Sora in, in front of Sonic. Um... Yeah. Uh, he... That one is, I believe... I believe that one is a Wisdom Form as well. I want to say that's a Wisdom Form. Because that one was, like, Magic Guns. So I want to say that's a Wisdom Form. But, um... But yeah, so so but yeah, so one I like that the it, I want to see what the anti form weapons are gonna be because we know that because one if he gets oblivion I want to know if that'll turn Sora into anti form and like what exactly would this anti form look like since this anti form would probably still have because each because the cool thing about these valor forms over not saying I don't like the original Kingdom Hearts two valor um drive forms the drive forms freaking awesome but um this one because they are all not only switching his clothing color and his powers basically they're also switching what the keyblade turns into as in weapon wise so i want to know what sora's like weapon will be i guess well then again now i think about it if he if he still has anti-form he's probably gonna have claws he's probably still gonna be kind of like how the in key marts 2 was with his like, where it was more feral and, like, fast acting, which I used him against Zigabar, I believe. And I remember back when I first played that part, um, I was having trouble with Zigabar, but when I went anti-form, because I kept dying, but I, I guess whatever save or it kept resetting me to, I always had, like, 1% to turn to anti-form. So, like, every time I fought Zigabar, I would turn anti-form. I think once I sort of final form, I'm not, but I was like in the original PS2. In this one, I like it took me a while to get the final form. So basically, I had to go to the Coliseum anti form up with to become one until I got it. But um, which is I think like the reason you the way you're supposed to do it at least the fastest way. But um, the Coliseum, yeah, but Hades Cup. Uh, but uh, yeah, like I want to see like I want to see like is Sora gonna get like the claws? Like his claws gonna look bigger or different? Is how is Riku's anti form gonna look? Or actually, if Riku is like a fully playable character, and by fully playable character, I mean kind of how he is in Kingdom Hearts 3D, where you can switch out his weapons and give him new weapons instead of something along the lines of how you play as Riku in um, Kingdom Hearts 2, where it's just kind of like you can't really switch out his weapons, you only have three attacks with him, which is like triangle, circle, or square that's your loadout that's all you can do with him and that's almost for like any other side character you play as other than sora so i kind of hope if riku is the second playable character which it's a high chance or heck even if sora and riku and kairi because i kind of want kairi to be a second playable character too to see that bit um or even like if we go back in time and play as ericus or something um i want to see i want to see uh I want to see like their. I want to see if they get transformations, and I want to see how it's gonna look. But if highly since it's probably gonna be Riku more, if anything, I want to see Riku with um. The key, I want to see yeah, Riku's drive form. If like Braveheart is a dark Keyblade, or heck, if he is the one who wields the Star Seeker, um, the Kingdom Seeker, uh, the the Keyblade you see that Aqua picks up. If he is the one who wields the Kingdom Seeker, I want to see what that form is gonna look like. 
I think that'd be kind of low. I think that'd be kind of cool. And again, a final form. I want to know like that. That one, I could say like that one's probably going to be uh, Alt Ultima Keyblade. The Ultima Keyblade. I think that one is going to be the Ultima Keyblade. Like that's when you'll get final form, the super strongest form, which means. Other than Kingdom Hearts 3D, I probably will actually have to try to create the Ultimate Keyblade. Which I love Kingdom Hearts. I played all the I played all the games. I beaten all the games except the Kingdom Hearts Mobile, which is a game that wasn't canon and it is like I don't even, I think you play that not on a smartphone. You play that on like a like a flip phone. I think that's how like, how old that how what how old that game is and like that one isn't canon or anything like that. But um, the only. Key, one time I ever got the Ultimate Keyblade was in Kingdom Hearts 3D, which that is one of the coolest looking ones. Um, uh, but I want to, I'll probably have to try to f figure out how to, like, synthesize the key, Ultimate Keyblade in, the, net, in um, the other games in um, 3. But yeah, there's just a quick little thing I wanted to make. Um, tell me what you guys think. I can't wait to try out try the different forms. Again, because again, you also will be able to, like, if you switch from the hammer to, let's say, Pirates of the Caribbean one, the hammer one is still in your, like, loadout. So, like, if you switch back to the toy one, you will still have hammer form. So, the hammer form. So, I want to know, like, I want to be, like, go, like, hammer, 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 switch, stab, pirates, <laughs> like, something like that. I, I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool. But, um, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. A bunch of videos that I've done. Links are on my face, good friends are on there somewhere. Thank you so um, Please check out my other videos. Um, tell me what you guys think, and you will. See you later. The Keyblade!